Okay, so tip nine, decanting your wine. Now, it's relatively rare to have a wine decanted for you in the restaurant because they'll only do that if the wine's likely to have sediment in the bottom, which is one of the valid reasons for, for decanting a, a wine. Um, the other reason, and the, the, the more important reason, the reason why most wine is decanted, certainly at home, is just to let it breathe. Because if you just pull the cork out, then you've got a little disc of wine that's breathing, and it'll take you hours to, to let that breathe. Now, if you pour the wine, you've got a steady stream uh, of wine, which is all breathing at the same time, so your wine's going to come up to, uh, up to speed, if you like, uh, much quicker. Um, so when you are decanting, um, you can use absolutely anything you want, a jug, your flashy decanter that you've, you've never sort of pulled out of the side, or only for port, um, and, uh, and if you want to do it with a candle, that's the only, the only time you want to do it with a candle, rather, is when you've got sediment in the bottle. Now, some people think it's to heat uh, the wine up. You're not really looking to do that. There are other ways of doing that. We showed you that just a little bit earlier on. But what you're looking to do is just see past, I don't know if you, Stephen, you can come down to this, just see pa past the... Um, Oh, uh, there we go. See past the wine um, so that the wine now becomes more translucent. You can see through it. Um, and what that will help you to do is to see when the sediment comes up to the neck. Now, if you're decanting wine or you've got a nice wine with sediment, it's best to leave it for at least 24 hours upright uh, and then slowly decant it. Don't put it on its side, don't turn it upside down, don't do anything else with it, but just lift it up and then slowly bring it to its side and then the sediment will just run around the edge of the punt, the underside, this little dimple on the underside and it's not just to put your thumb in. Um, and, uh, and then your sediment will stay in one place and then you bring the decanter, take the decanter in your hand and then you bring it up to the candle and you can rest the neck in there or hold it higher if you really want but it doesn't really matter and then you just look through the wine to the flame and then you very very slowly decant. You don't want too much glugging but about this stage when you've got a little dimple little amount left in the bottle, just in the, sh in the shoulder there, then you'll start to see sediment come through. Stop then. If you've done it well, you should probably have about that much, about a centimetre or so, maybe a little less, left in the bottle. And so that's what decanting does for you.